What's going on guys? Kellen here from The Savvy Couple. We had a couple group members from our group blogging with a purpose that were talking about editorial calendars this morning and I hopped on and just told them that we use Trello and they were interested in a video. So this is a little tutorial on how we use the project management software Trello as our editorial calendar. Um, just to start I wanted to show you the background on all the boards that we use for our business. And we also use for our personal boards as well, um, just kind of a home base with grocery shopping and cleaning lists and all that type of stuff. Just a basically an overall lifestyle, um, life hack, project management software. It's incredible. So if you scroll down here, we see that we have a big picture strategy board. We have Brittany's workflow, my workflow. Um, we have our two Facebook groups in here, we have training resources, we have different aspects of our business, Facebook ads, podcasting, products, um, all this type of stuff. It's all done through this hub, through this software called Trello. So it's an incredible software. It's free um, to use. There are power-ups that cost additional money. Um, I'll get into that once we get into the editorial calendar. But <clears throat> I have the editorial calendar startup here is one of our favorites and one of the ones we use most often. So I'm going to go ahead and click into that and show you the back end of how we use uh, Trello as our editorial calendar. So in the back here, we have, I'm going to show you the big picture, bring you down, kind of walk you through how to do it, and then uh, we'll finish there. So we have a ongoing list of different blog title ideas and topics that we want to write about. We keep that all the way to the left, and once we take that board or that checklist and move it across our workflow, um, it makes it onto the editorial calendar and into WordPress for publication and it makes sure that we are hitting all the topics that our readers like throughout the month, make sure that all of our topics are staggered, that we're publishing good content um, on a regular basis and just a nice workflow to keep everything organized and up to date with two people working on the blog. Um, we've used a bunch of different plugins for editorial calendars in the past. And we have definitely found that this is the most useful since this is our like home hub for all things um, with our blogging business. The other ones are not as user friendly. So once we have an idea, we'll write it down. We'll put a label onto it. And once we figure out when we want to schedule it and when we want to start writing it, we schedule it. As soon as it's scheduled and we give it a date, which you can see right here, change due date it will go into our calendar. This is a power up that we use for this board. So this is our one power up that we use, free to use. Um, and there's a bunch that you can choose from. But I'm gonna show you the overall view of what a calendar looks like once it is uploaded and saved, if the internet cooperates. So we're looking at our July editorial calendar. I'm gonna scroll up. And you can see we have different labels. We have make money, blogging, manage money, lifestyle, food, save money. We blog about a lot of different topics. So this is a nice way to keep track and organize everything. Each one of these cards is an article and you can drag and drop wherever you want. It'll automatically change the due date on them. And yeah. So you kind of just plan out your months. You can plan them way in advance. We like to stay at least a month ahead. We struggle to do that, so we're trying to get better at that, but um, that's what we try to shoot for. So if you're in here and you want to click, so we have a 20 calorie food article, you can click on that. It's going to bring up the board and it's labeled food. We usually have a checklist in here, any comments that need to be made that we can both view and talk about. And it's just a nice way to collaborate on an article. So I'm going to go back into the regular boards and the calendars there. So we're working our way through. From scheduled, after we schedule it and it goes onto that calendar, we have a writing process. That's where we take the idea and turn it into an article through Google Docs. Once into Google Docs, we will edit it and move it over to edit in WordPress. And that includes, we have a one-step process from Google Docs to WordPress. It takes over all of the formatting, all of the links, all of the images, everything that you want with seamlessly into WordPress. And I will link a description of that in the po in below the video. Um, but that goes into edit in WordPress. Then we optimize it for SEO. We always make sure that we're writing for our readers to make sure it's the best user experience first. And then we optimize for SEO. But it's always good to have a general idea of what um, you want to rank for, what keywords you're going after when you're writing posts beforehand. But like I said, you're not going to cram them full of keywords. That's um, You're going to optimize it for SEO after you write it. 
Then we add our images. We schedule it for public publishing. This step is, so we already scheduled it onto our editorial calendar. The next step is scheduling it for publication and that is in WordPress. So that is basically hitting, it's gonna go out tomorrow at 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. and go out to all of our readers. So that's when we put it into here. Once it's published, we'll put it into the promote list. And these are articles that we need to create Pinterest pins for and um, just publish all on all of our social medias, including Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that type of stuff. It's nice when you're doing a repurpose or republish. You can just grab one of the ones that you've completed before, put it at the front of the list, audit the article, edit it, um, just kind of go through the whole workflow again and make sure that it's published with better content and better SEO and all that type of stuff this time around. So, I don't think it's really worth time going through, um, but if you wanted to add a card to a schedule here, so we're right down here. I am looking at bananas in front of me, so I'm just going to say 15 benefits from eating bananas. Hopefully I can spell it right. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Add card. And now we're going to edit the card. We're going to add a label. These are all the labels and all the topics we talk about in our blog. So this is a food. And we can assign a date. I'm just going to delete this afterwards. It doesn't really matter. And maybe I won't. Maybe it's a good article. So we're in July. So I'm going to say it's going out tomorrow at 8 a.m. And I think we have one going out tomorrow at 8 a.m. So I'm going to change that to... Let's go Wednesday, 8 a.m. Save it. And save it here. So now that's scheduled in our editorial calendar for August 1st. So once we want to start writing it, we simply take it, move it over, and now we're just going to work it all the way through the process, streamline it all the way to complete, and you are done. Um, once it's completed, we just leave them here to refer back to um, just if we need to make any changes or go back and reference anything. I'm going to wrap the video up here in a second. I'm going to go back to the calendar and just show you that it did go in correctly. The internet is running slow. Sorry about that. So August 1st, August 1st, and it's going to be scheduled for 12 p.m. So it's ready, good to go. We can even move it down to August 8th if we wanted, but it's real simple to move around and use as an editorial calendar, very user-friendly. It's an incredible platform. If you can learn how to use it and create these systems in your business, um, that's gonna be very beneficial for you. We started, we started to realize that we were working on our business, or I'm sorry, we were starting to work too much into our business and not have really all these systems in place to really streamline stuff and just be really efficient. Once we started using Trello, we started to work on our business, creating the sales funnels, creating um, really good content and just helping our readers out as much as we can. So highly recommend you give Trello a try and figure out how to use it for your business. If you guys are watching this, you're either watching it in our blogging group, Blogging with Purpose on Facebook. Thank you so much for being part of the group. Really appreciate you guys. If you're on YouTube, please go join the group and vice versa. If you're in our group and you do not, you're not subscribed to us on YouTube, go hit that.